Hello students, uh, with uh, this uh, video we come to the end of the vlog uh, week. The reading analysis exercise, uh, I took these articles and discussed with you. Uh, the reason uh, behind this is to make you understand that central idea is a skill and uh, finding out the central idea is an exercise as well. So once you understand and appreciate how you should specifically uh, note down the, the main theme of every paragraph, you should be practicing it in every reading. And this is something which uh, consciously or subconsciously, uh, all CAT experts do. So uh, uh, this is something which many of my students have successfully mastered and uh, have uh, scored uh, excellent marks in the CAT uh, verbal section. So uh, keep this in mind and practice uh, uh, this every time you uh, do your uh, CAT reading and uh, every time you solve a reading comprehension, right? Uh, so with that introduction to the last uh, blog in this series, uh, let's start with this CAT 2019 slot 1 uh, reading comprehension section, uh, reading comprehension. Uh, I remember I got all correct here, uh, this CAT. Uh, so let me run you through. Starting with the first paragraph. As defined by uh, the geographer uh, Juan, topophilia is the bond between people and place, okay? And in his book in 1974, he set up on exploration the emotive types of the environment and which varies from person to person, intensity and mode of expression, right? So uh, right in the beginning, I write it that, uh, what are we talking about? We are talking about topic topophilia, which is a people place bond, right? Okay, now I read the second half. So uh, factors influencing one's depth of response to environment, they, they vary depending on race, gender, culture, etc. And argued that there is a biological and sensory element too, right? And uh, it might not be the strongest of emotions, but uh, people feel very, uh, some people uh, feel indifferent towards the environments. But when that feeling, that emotion is activated, it actually makes the uh, place a carrier of uh, uh, emotionally charged events or perceived as a symbol. So this bond that people place bond, that is something which is a human emotion. Uh, and uh, it varies, uh, and it actually varies depending on the mood and depending on the type of people. So that is what is the first paragraph talking about, right? So I hope you enjoyed this central idea exercise. Again, the last one we are doing, but uh, I'm sure the process is clear now. Mostly in the first half you write some words, in the last half you write some words, right? Okay, so it's like entry and then exit. Both time you write two, two, three, four words, right? The total length ideally should uh, be not more than eight words. Okay, so let's go to para two. Aesthetic appreciation is one way in which people respond to the environment, a rainbow or a city a live street, right? Uh, such beauty people do, do uh, value. Okay, so now these topophilic bonds are being explored here. So if I see, uh, what am I talking here about? Topophilic bonds, right? Uh, what are the different types of topophilic bonds or responses to the environment? The first one the author says is aesthetic uh, appreciation, okay? Then, further he says there is another type of bond, which is uh, acquired taste for different kinds of uh, landscapes, right? So then we move to acquired tastes, the places that the person knows well, etc. When a place is home, uh, it, ha it has memories, it evokes sense of attachment, uh, uh, deeper than what is on the visual. And the third one the author talks about depends on senses. So third one is also on human senses, right? So uh, different responses to this environment, that is the topophilic bonds, are being discussed in the second paragraph. All right, third paragraph. So topophilia uh, is very similar to a sense of place. Uh, it's an experience which has, uh, uh, which is elusive. The author says that people have not been able to get it, but it has inspired architects and planners. Uh, urbanism, uh, the new urbanism tries to counter uh, places, uh, places, uh, places of the modern uh, suburbs and decline of cities, right? Uh, though the intentions are good, the author says that these attempts to make places rich in meaning are perhaps uh, bound to disappoint. So what are we talking about here? The sense of place is something which is very uh, 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 inane uh, to anybody and new urbanism is making attempts to bring placeness, uh, to remove uh, feelings of placelessness uh, from modern societies. Uh, but uh, uh, the feeling that it is uh, the trying to create, it is doubtful that those feelings will uh, actually succeed, right? Further, Chuan says that aesthetic responses are certainly revealed, but intensity is not long-lasting. So apart from doubtful, the point that we are talking about is uh, uh, less lasting types of feelings is what new urbanism will create. And further says that uh, uh, 
the, but but uh, self uh, reflective uh, philosophers etc uh, in the sense of place comes more uh, uh, with the affinity to a desert so these things are indicated that new urbanism is not going to actually create it much uh, perhaps uh, the the nature or belongingness creates it more right so that is para 3 para number 4 Topophilia actually denotes, uh, connotes, uh, it, it uh, gives us a positive uh, relationship feeling. But there are other affiliations between people and place too. So uh, uh, here we are so talk, talking about the dark side uh, of this relationship now, right? So the dark side the author hints at, let's keep reading. So it, it, it says patriotism, right? Uh, now patriotism is used as nat for nationalist projects, war, ethnic cleansing, etc. Okay. Uh, so connecting with your homeland, but that is a feeling which can be used in a, in a wrong manner. And then the further, further it says that uh, uh, residents of some upscale places, they show different kinds of uh, uh, so societal uh, uh, class or creed or etc, uh, etc, et their position, right? So these things have, uh, they also create something which we call, we can call tropophobia, which means uh, a negative or dark side of association with place, right? So when you read a paragraph, basically in every paragraph you are trying to start and uh, think of an entry and an exit, a subject and a predicate, in short, right? And uh, kind of get down the main theme of each para. So let me run you through again. The first paragraph introduces topophilia, the relationship between people and place, and says that the emotion varies. Uh, the second paragraph explores topophilic bonds in a positive sense and talks about the kind of responses the environment generates, aesthetic appreciation, acquired taste, and human sense being uh, the theme uh, of them. Third paragraph says how sense of place is uh, very close to uh, topophilia and uh, that is something that uh, new urbanism urbanists are trying to generate remove the perceived placelessness of modern suburbs but that is something the author feels that it is doubtful and less lasting uh, further the last paragraph also talks about the dark side uh, of relating oneself to the place and it can lead to patriotic or societal uh, feelings which might be misused right and people some people might have uh, what we can call a fear of that dark side topophobia right so that is what this uh, passage is all about. Once you read like this, and then you, when you attack the questions, your ability to go back to the place where the answer lies, your ability to get the overall theme and the flow, or read the author's mind, that increases multifold. So I hope this blog series really helped you, and uh, you will revise these blogs once again, these uh, six blogs before CAT, so that uh, whenever you find that uh, your overall performance in RC is at all getting uh, kind of uh, not up to your expectation, these blogs would uh, rekindle that spirit of central idea and bring you back on track because it is that important to read comprehension, right? Thank you.